to Stevie Smith, one of the authors that we study uh, from the later 20th century, and the work of hers that we read is a poem called How Cruel is the Story of Eve. Now, if you look at the written out lecture, there is a picture, a photo of Stevie Smith, so you can see what she looked like, and uh, the fashion and hairstyles that they wore then. Um, it's kind of interesting to check out. See, we are obviously approaching more modern times. I mean, of course, the 20th century is considered a modern era, but I mean, when a lot of times when we see, say modern, we mean contemporary, right? We approach more contemporary. So um, there are also some neat links included there on the internet that you might want to check out if you'd like more information about Stevie Smith or her works. Uh, there's a website with links to extensive biographical and literary information, as well as a YouTube video featuring Stevie Smith reading another of her poems called Not Waving But Drowning. That's a really interesting poem, too. Very thought-provoking. I, I encourage you to check it out. It's really, it's a very short, too. There's also a YouTube video that analyzes that poem, Not Waving But Drowning. Now, Stevie Smith, she, uh, is, she was British. She lived from 1902 until 1971, until about 68 years old. She was born Florence Margaret Smith in Hull, Yorkshire, England, where she lived with her parents until she was four, and then moved to Palmer's Green, a poor suburb of London. Um, her father eventually left the family however, and her mother suffered from serious health problems. Her father, um, oh, so because of that, CB was raised largely by her strong-willed feminist anti-lion, so ant, in other words, anti-lion, uh, which is what Stevie called her, lion, maybe because of how strong she was. Um, Stevie was called Peggy, by her family for her middle name, Margaret. But Stevie was a nickname she got with friends because she was so short that people nicknamed her Stevie after the popular horse jockey named Steve Donahue. So that's how she got her name, Stevie. Stevie attended the London Collegiate School for Girls and then worked as a secretary in a magazine publishing house for the next 30 years. As she continued to live with her auntie, Lion, Stephen started writing poetry and novels in her 30s and continued to do so till she died of a brain tumor at 68. In the 1960s, she started reading her poems over a BBC, that's the British Broadcasting Corporation, uh, broadcast on poets. That was kind of neat that they actually had a whole broadcast devoted to poets. She appeared on it. She wrote numerous poems and four novels. Interestingly, Stevie never married. Um, she lived with her auntie Lion actually for her entire life. Um, she did not achieve notoriety until the very last few years of her life, in fact. The poem that we read here of Stevie's called how Cool is the Story of Eve, published in 1966, and it exemplifies the sardonic wit and almost morbid irony that characterize her poetry. You'll see that if you check out Not Waving But, Di uh, Not Waving but Drowning, too. Sylvia Plath became an avowed Stevie addict, quote unquote Stevie addict, addicted to Stevie's poetry, in other words, just because of Stevie Smith's artful use of language, rhyme, humor, and common imagery to represent ironic and weighty subjects. It's like how cruel is this story of Eve and also not waiting for drowning. Uh, there were, these were life and death issues, um, yet she had a way about her in the poems that she could deliver a piercing message, but um, in a way that was that was sprinkled with rhyme and rhythm and humor um, that diffused it, but yet still did not take away from its impact. 
Uh, the decline of the British Empire was another one of her themes, and also women's issues. So, very appropriately, we read her in our women literature class. Raised on a diet of New English Bibles, Stevie often grew from and commented on religion in her writings, as she does in the poem that we read here for class, How Gloria Me, uh, which is also fitting for our class to study that poem since we have traced how the story of Eve has impacted women's issues and things about women uh, from medieval times forward. So here is another step in that evolution of the story of Eve and its impact on women's issues and lives. All right, enjoy reading more about Stevie Smith in the anthology and reading the work of hers that we study for class. How cool.